Hi Leo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Leo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Leo. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card showing, since it's in the reverse, we're seeing you coming out of a stagnant situation, a stalemate. Um, you could have been dealing with a person here who was indecisive. They couldn't make their mind up. They were stalling. They were uh, keeping you stuck because of their indecision. And with this card being the reverse, it looks like a decision is being made. And it could be that they are finally making their mind up or it could be that the decision is going to be made for them but there's definitely an energy of coming out of that stalemate okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the ace of swords air energy seven of wands in the reverse fire energy and the chariot cancer energy okay so the two of swords can also show since it's in the reverse it can also show um, that blocks in communication are being removed because we have the Ace of Swords next to it, which does show communication. So you could be having a blunt communication with someone. It's like you're really just giving them the, the, the straight up truth. Um, there's an energy of getting clarity and giving clarity. Um, a breakthrough is happening here for you. You're going to feel good about this because we have the Ace of Swords and the Chariot, which is cause of victory. Um, there's a, a feeling here of... Um, giving up on a dying situation with the seven of wands being the reverse um, that can show something here that you were fighting for but it's like you were the only one fighting for it because the seven of wands can be you know like you felt like you had to really defend something you may stop fighting for that um, whatever this breakthrough is it's helping you um, have a new beginning so the reason you're stopping to fight for something, it could be because someone is finally getting on board and you guys are moving forward. You guys are on the same page, you know, because the chariot needs both people to be on the same page. So you could be getting on the same page with someone. Or if this person is unwilling, there's an energy of you just moving forward on your own. So let's clarify these cards, um, Leo. So at the bottom of the deck we have the death card scorpio energy so this can show letting go ending something releasing something it can also show transformation so for some it could be that a connection is transforming for others it could be that they're ending something they're releasing something they're ready to there's just an energy of leaving something in the past letting something go um coming out of you know that energy of staying stuck in something that's not working okay so let's see Okay, we have the two of swords air energy page of wands fire energy and the world something is coming to an end something is wrapping up here um you're, you're finally you know freeing yourself you are moving towards something new it could be that a phase is coming to an end or an actual connection is it's you know the death card is like it's over and with the world card it's like you're gonna feel good this is a successful completion it's a win um two of swords is showing that you are closing yourself off to something that isn't for you something that you feel unsafe in you're you're protecting yourself instead of fighting for something and protecting something you're protecting yourself now um the page of wands can show that someone is reaching out to you but they can't get to you because it could be a block that you've put up here or they are um they're able to you're able to communicate with them but they they can't tug on your heartstrings um this can also be that you are you know embracing new opportunities because something is finally done okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you leo So 
So we have a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. Okay, so definitely there's an ending to something, a period, a chapter, and there's a, it's like feeling good about the way something came to an end. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. So we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So this could have been a codependent situation. Um, and it's like finally um, overcoming that or releasing that. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. So we have gratitude. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. So you're moving forward. There's this feeling of coming out a winner, feeling good about yourself, feeling proud. Um, there's, you know, defeating something that was difficult. Whether this is two people that are overcoming some sort of addictions or codependent patterns in their connection and they're moving to a new chapter or it's you releasing something that was of that nature. There's this feeling of gratitude, feeling like things worked out the way, it is like things worked out better than you expected or they worked out in your favor here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Leah. Okay, so we have surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So if you were holding on to something because you thought you couldn't do better or you thought that, you know, there's nothing else out there, there's an energy here about needing to surrender that. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Leo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Leo. Bye, Leo.